Welcome retro game fans, welcome back to the Zeus Daz and Emulator Retro Game Channel and I am Zeus and this time around I'm going to bring you a Death Squad game one of three actually, it's what I call the Tur Trilogy each game has some kind of shit basically involved in it in this particular first part um, you control Scott Feast which is basically a pile of shit really with a fez on top of it I think it's dog shit, I don't know and uh, you've got to, the idea of this game, you've got to go around all these uh, paths. They're basically like, you, you know, just streets you walk up. And you've just got to fill them in, a bit like a Qbert clone, but not on a pyramid. So you've basically got to disgustingly go around and colour all the tiles of your trail of shit. And there's 20 levels involved. And um, there's, there's two, there was an up-to-date version, which is this one. Uh, the, the original version that I had didn't give you a warning light. There's, if you see, if you look on the top of the screen there, there's a uh, tapeworm on the right. Now he comes up bang on the middle of the screen. And uh, the version before the final release didn't give you a warning, like an exclamation mark. Like, you'll see it, uh, that will flash up. And this version, the, the, the very latest one, this came out a couple of years ago now. But this is the, uh, the latest version you can get. And it gives you that split second uh, warning that he's about to appear. And you can't go uh, on his square, it'll kill you immediately. And you're also going against uh, Dung Beetle, you'll see him there on the, on the left hand side there. Got to avoid him because he'll just uh, come behind you and, and throttle you basically, or he's, he's humping you, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, it's very simple gameplay, uh, it's quite addictive, it's quite easy to begin with, but later levels it will suddenly uh, get very difficult, there's more obstacles to avoid, and uh, more of these Dung Beetles, they move quicker, and the tapeworm um, pops up a lot more regularly, so you've got to be careful of that. So uh, let's have a play of it. Uh, no cheats involved again, and uh, uh, we'll see what you think of it. You can play it with joystick. It automatically detects it. On this version, does anyway. Uh, that's Sinclair 2. Otherwise, you can use keyboard, but unfortunately, the original release, I think, only uses keys 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0, which are really awkward to use, as most of us are usually QAOP in space or M uh, keyboard layout. So that's tricky. So if you got yourself uh, an interface, I'd use the joystick. It's a lot better. Okay, here we go. So you are in the middle of the screen, and you just got to defecate all the all the paths, avoid these beetles. You can go diagonal as well, like that, which can be very uh, useful. Get you out of some tight uh, uh, spaces. But the first level is very easy, very basic. And there you go, street one, completely full of shit. And as you can see now, we've got some little uh, obstacles in the way. They don't do you any harm, but you can't... Um, they just stop you in your tracks. And you've got to be careful, because the dung beetles can also um, go up and down and suddenly catch you. But in the middle of the screen, where I'm stood right... There, there we go, see that little flag, just perfect timing there. There's the tapeworm. You can't go anywhere near him, on that square anyway. they kill you. But it just gave you a little warning there. The uh, original version I had didn't do that, and suddenly you could just die. And this version, this version I have here, I can't remember where I got it, because it, it never came in tap form. It came on a Z80 file, and I had to get someone uh, to um, convert it to a tap, or TZX, can't remember now. There it is again, flashing, and then take worm, there he pops up again. You pick up extra lives too. This version you can use QAOP much friendlier way of controlling it. You see, it's very basic gameplay. It's like a cuba, isn't it? You just colour the squares um, and complete the level. And as I said, this is what I call uh, the Tur Trilogy. There's two more games in this set, which uh, I'll be doing uh, very soon. Oh, now you've got a laser look. That's another thing that suddenly appears. You see a laser, it will suddenly appear. There you go. Oh, and he got me. That was careless. Now that can be useful that laser later on because you've got a you got a really pesky sort of fly thing that comes out and and and, and kills you. Uh, and if you time it right, you can get that laser to zap him. So it's useful later on. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go. Here he comes. The tapeworm. Ah, oh, went straight into him. That was careless. Well, there you go. You got an example of. Uh, of uh, what it does if you get near it. If you want to see this game in full, with cheats though, I have to say, um, 
The link will be at the, in the uh, description of this video. <clears throat> so you can go straight to it, just click on the link and you'll see all the levels, including the end screen, without commentary. I think I get to about level 17 in this, without cheats. <clears throat> and there's 20 screens altogether. See now, the thing is, you've got more obstacles now, that, that, which can be a burden. Goes, there's the tapeworm. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, that's the trouble when you're on the edge of the screen as well. They can get you, you don't see them coming. So, you've got you got to watch that. And then you've got Zap there as well. Dung beetles just moved down. Oh, oh dear. Okay, it's it can be tricky with a joystick to be honest with you. It's very sensitive. Right, come on, go down. That's it. No, it's too many. That's the trouble. Sometimes you can go too many squares. Take one, there he is again. Oh, damn it, this is tricky now. One square left. Two squares left. Gotcha. Yeah, you can get extra lives. They pop up from time to time. Yeah, it's a nasty laser, that. You don't want to get near it. It's very playable. It's very simple, as you can see. Very simple um, gameplay ethics. Just Cuba written all over it. Uh, oh shit! Oh bollocks! I'm gonna have another go. Uh, level seven. Okay, that was pretty. Well, uh, this is okay, I suppose. Let's give it another shot. One more go. Let's collect all these things first, there's no point letting them get in the way of me. <clears throat> yeah, level one's a doddle, of course. There we go. Right, level two. Uh, there's no boss in this game. There is a boss in the second of the third, third trilogy, I should call it. Um, and the third game as well. The second game being Dungarak. The third in the trilogy, uh, trilogy being R-Swipe, as in R-S-W-I-P-E, as in R-Swipe, not R-Type. You know, like, you're an R-Swipe. But I'll be doing that, um, doing those games shortly too. They'll be following this one, might as well keep the trilogy together. There might be a fourth. How about that, Davey? Another a fourth game? In this set, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 now he's going to come down, isn't he? Oh, that was a good maneuver. Okay, there we go. Right. Yeah, I always do the middle panel first while that tapeworm comes. Ah, it's disgusting, isn't it? Tapeworms, shitty streets, dung beetles. There's a the tapeworm, you're not getting me in this level. Ooh, that's close. I recognise those things now. Those little ruskies with the bloody hats. It's from Willy the Wasp 2. Just realised that. Oh, one movement of the joystick too much. Yeah, um, Death Squad brought you, uh, as I said, Dungarak, which is the second game in this trilogy, followed by Arsewipe, also Willy the Wasp, and Willy the Wasp 2, which uh, Willy the Wasp 2 was something I got involved in. I was very uh, honoured to do that. That's also on my channel in full. And Willy the Wasp 3 is on its way. And it's going to have speech in it. And the speech is going to be me. Cool, eh? I won't tell you what I say in it there. Even I don't uh, know what's going to be put in it yet. I'll be uh, hopefully play testing it at some point. It'll be using the new ULA Plus chip. So it might be a bit difficult for me on the original hardware. As there's no ULA Plus chip available yet. Only on emulator. Increases the colour and palette of the Spectrum by quite a margin. 
that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so you've got to watch these dung beetles. They, they, uh, they're clever, they move up and down. Ah. And there's that bloody tapeworm again. Don't matter, I've got you. What level are we on? Level 8. Oh, I've improved on my last one. So there's 20 levels. I mean, it might look bracelet, but as you can see, it's getting it's getting more difficult now because you've got obstacles, you've got dung beetles, you've got more of them, and they they uh, go up and down. Oh, damn it. Get rid of this bit first. There. See, there's a fly. I don't know, I can't remember what time that fly bug comes on, but uh, you'll be glad of the laser when he does. You can perfectly, you can zap him uh, if you nail the timing right. Come on, get out of your way. Where are you going? Up on you, you would. Thank you, lovely. Oh, there's a one up. Thank you very much. Uh, that, was, that was useful. Amazing, the most simple games can be so addictive. And this is. You want to keep playing it. You just want to load it up once. Oh, careless. Uh, you want to actually keep playing it. Oh, I better get that one up again. Alright, sensible this time, Darren. There we go. Ah, there he is. See him? Whoa. Oh, of course, I forgot about him. Oh. He's one of those still dung beetles. They don't, you think they're not anything, but they do. One up, thank you. Yes, yeah, you see him? He's up there at the top of the screen, coming to my left. Easy to avoid. If you can nail it right, you can zap him. Right, what are we on now? Level what? Oh, I got him and the bloody bug. What's that one? I'm going to risk it. Oh, it's not. It's just a... Yeah, of course. I didn't recognise that uh, baddie. Oh, I'm going to that tape one, thank you. Ah, come on, come on. Oh, come on, joystick. Yeah, there we go. Right, what are we on? Level 12, that ain't bad. Damn, I could have, I could have nailed you. Nail him right if you if you're quick. Oh, you got me. Move down. Uh, thank you. Gotcha. Zapped him that time. Oh, I should do this level now. Yeah. Uh. It's useful that you can move diagonal. joystick attack this it's not the joystick it's just oh that level was mine so at that level then you robbed me 
bloody you've got to sometimes tap the joystick because sometimes instead of one step you'll take two and that could be the big difference of you losing a life oh. I'll throw my lives away now didn't get out of there quick enough. This level is killing me off, causing me right problems. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. That was um, Thunder Turds. <laughs> Thunder Turds. Uh, by the Def Squad. Well done, Davey. Good game, mate. Uh, very addictive. Said, uh, give it a shot. You know, try and either get it for your real Spectrum or, or your emulator. Have a few cracks at it. It's very simple. There's not much music in it, just sound effects, but it's an amusing game. And if you want to see the entire game from start to finish without commentary, just click the link in the description below this video and it will take you straight to it. So the next game in the uh, Turd Trilogy, as I call it, is uh, Dungdurak. That'll be the next game I'll be doing the Let's Play for. So until then, happy gaming.